Hey up guys, my name's Mickey Stardust and uh, I'm just doing a tutorial on how to use Fruity Pick Controller. If you could please subscribe to my channel or like and share, it would help me loads. Uh, yeah, so what we do, uh, say we've got a kick and a bass. Well, it's not a bass, it's just some of I've made for examples. Uh, put them in two separate channels. And on the kick channel, because you want the you want to get the bass out of the way every time the kick hits. So on the kick channel, find fruity peak controller, put it onto that channel, then uh, go to your volume slider or whatever you want to control, could be the mix level, whatever you want. Uh, right click, link controller, uh, go to Peak, uh, go to internal controller, then peak control, peak LFO, go to the mapping formula, input, inverted, and accept. Then now, every time the kick hits, it should duck this. You can control it so it isn't as intensive. So, let's get to do that. There you can uh, control the volume, so there's less, so it's ducking the glass. Then you've got the tension, that, that also ducks it less. Yeah, so uh, yeah, so it's just it's brilliant guys for getting the reverb out of the way every time the lead hits, or just for side chaining your bass so it gets everything out of the way of the bass when it hits. I hope it helps guys, Th thanks for joining me, and like I said, please subscribe to my channels, and uh, check out my music on my SoundCloud, it's Mickey Stardust at SoundCloud. Cheers guys.